Hey folks, so I wanted to take a quick quick video. This is maybe the last one we have up on the tower with the uh, this current configuration. We uh, we're running with the uh, Thermodyne bracket assembly. It's on a twenty foot tower. Uh, it's a tw it's a Thermodyne twenty four volt single core PMA. We have the Missouri Wind and Solar eleven blade hub with the eleven blade Raptor configuration is currently what's up. Um, we have a, a lot of good uh, sustained winds coming in right now with uh, a lot of gust. <clears throat> it's gonna, it should be this way for most of the afternoon, and uh, I wanted to get a good video of it. It's been, it's been brutally cold, uh, below zero, but uh, we're supposed to be in the 50s and 60s, even 70s this week. Uh, so, and today's the big day for the for the the wind to break, and so we're going to see a lot of wind coming in. So on the screen, you can see uh, on the left hand side uh, voltage on the top left. Um, uh, current or amperage on the bottom. Uh, you can see my Vantage View um, weather station. Um, for those that are new, this Vantage View uh, inside this circle right here is the miles per hour. It updates every two seconds and uh, the antenna is a little bit in the way on my Vantage View but if you look you can see on the video on the right hand side you can actually see the wind turbine on a camera that I have. I have a PTZ um, controlled camera that's outside uh, that you can see the the turbine outside and about I don't know maybe two feet below the blades is where my vantage view uh, weather station sensors are at and it transmits into the house every two seconds and so uh, that's about as accurate as I know to be um, for the data that we're pulling back in so uh, I'll just let this thing run for just a few minutes and you can see the wind speeds uh, you can see the wind turbine track you can see the results uh, in power output so it is what it is We'll move that antenna down a little bit so you can see the weather station.
So I can tell you this, that uh, Jeff at Missouri Wind and Solar has uh, worked with me and we are, uh, you know, we had that, uh, the mismatched um, voltage PMA. Um, we originally had a, a 24 volt uh, dual core Renegade PMA. Uh, we thought there might be some problems with it. So uh, we sent it back in to have it exchanged. Um, we got back a 46 volt PMA uh, or a 48 volt, sorry, uh, 48 volt PMA, and uh, that's what we've had for a long time when we put all those videos up, um, and so we the results came in. We had been you know working on that. Um, we identified that that's absolutely an issue. Mismatch 48 volt PMA on a 24 volt uh, battery bank, and uh, so Jeff is in the process of replacing that now. Uh, I've sent the that uh, second PMA back to Missouri Wind and Solar. And uh, I'm expecting that uh, back in the mail uh, from them. Uh, it may be coming in today, as a matter of fact, uh, which is why it's the great timing for this, uh, the, the winds to come in today for us uh, to get this last video of this 24-volt uh, single-core uh, Thermodyne PMA that's up. Uh, what I really would like to do, since we're going to have some pretty good winds over the next few days, my goal would be to get that uh, dual-core Missouri Wind and Solar Renegade PMA in uh, do some some testing on it before I put it up on the tower but to get it up as soon as possible um, while we have warm weather and uh, and then be able to uh, run some testing on it as well so we did get some new uh, some new tools in some new testing equipment uh, we pulled in a, a, a digital uh, laser um, RPM meter so when we do the the measuring outside uh, I, I don't want to be too concerned with uh, I want to try to do some different kind of measurements like with the uh, with the wind we can start to do some different measurements instead of power output uh, or resistance we can simply do how many revolutions per minute will we get with um, wind so we can put the blades on a simple axis or, or an axle uh, let the wind turn it um, and let the laser measure the RPM um, instead of power output or any other resistance make it consistent uh, we did that and uh, we're going we're gonna to continue to try to uh, do some very consistent um, repeatable measuring to give people a good idea of what's going on so you'll see those tests coming out pretty soon Okay, I'm going to flip over real quick, take a look at the state mesonet. Uh, we talked about this before. It looks like in my area, just over uh, to the west of us a little bit, they've got 33 to 41 mile an hour gust. Where we're at, we're at 24 to 31. So uh, it's going to continue to be this way for quite a while. So I don't want to bore you, but uh, I think we saw some, some it looks like we've had uh, the last two minutes of 16 and a half mile an hour winds, uh, the last 10 minutes of 17.1, and I think we, we saw some significant um, gusting going on so I think we uh, can probably say that we captured some some good data from this okay thanks folks